Greetings everyone, my name is Preeti Rao and I'm founder of Belgi. Belgi's focus is on helping you form sustainable lifestyle habits so that you can prevent and manage lifestyle diseases more effectively. Our focus is on improving your physical, emotional, social, spiritual and occupational well-being. Today, I will be demonstrating a very simple asana that you can practice at home without the help of any equipment or any gadgets. This asana is called Uttita Paswakona Asana. It's also called the extended side stretch. Okay, so watch what I do. Okay, before I uh, demonstrate the asana, I want to talk to you a little bit more about the benefits of this asana. This asana helps to expand and enhances the lung capacity, helps you to tone the muscles of the heart, helps you with digestion and helps you to elevate um, you know, excrete all the toxic materials. It also gives you great abdominal stretch and tones your abs as well as the legs. So, wherever you are, you stand up nice and tall, okay? Make sure your toes are pointed forward and your shoulders are back and your sternum, your chest is lifted up and you're looking straight forward, okay? Once you're here, extend your arms. Extend your arms to the side. Now extend your legs wider than your shoulder width okay once you've reached that make sure both of your feet are in alignment make sure now turn the right leg towards the right side as you do that make sure your hip is not twisting to either side okay so your hip is actually facing the front you're just turning the right leg towards your right arm once you've done that Make sure your arms are in absolutely straight, um, straight way. They're not looking up, they're not looking down, they're not relaxed and flimsy. So it's very important that you have this alignment, you have your arms in alignment with your shoulder. Once you're in this position, now look at the other leg, the left leg. The left leg will slightly turn inwards, okay? It was here, I slightly turn inwards and reach back with my arms. Now, from this position, if I want, I can even extend it further. I can bend while keeping my hip neutral. I bend my right knee. Okay, so comfortable so far. From here, for somebody who is just a beginner, can possibly just stay here, and it's okay to do that. If you can, if this is comfortable, you can take it even further. So you can bend the right elbow and raise the other arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Another important point, if you're somebody who has high blood pressure or somebody who feels dizzy very quickly, so it's important that you don't look up, you can be neutral or even you can slightly look downwards, okay? If you have cardiac problems, you can do this in alignment with the wall. So you can stand right next to, in front of the wall and do the same asana. So if this is even more comfortable, the next thing would be extend the right arm down to the floor and keep the other arm extended. I'm looking upwards again. If I'm comfortable, you can look up, look straight right ahead. Now, if this is also comfortable, you can take this arm behind and place it behind your legs and continue to look upwards. Take a couple of deep breaths. The beauty about yoga is holding the asana as long as you possibly can and take deep, long breaths. From here, when you're ready, you can slowly come up, relax the knees, release the legs, bring your arms down and legs together. So you can do the same thing on the right hand side and on the left. I hope you enjoyed this asanas. In the next series, I'll be bringing you many more asanas that you can do at home very easily. Thank you for watching.